Hallihallo! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my hands today, I'm holding my favorite porcini mushrooms. I love porcini mushrooms. They are perfect when you are creating a vegan recipe because porcini mushroom leave you with this nice meaty taste, but it's not meat. So follow me and cook with me my favorite vegan recipe, porcini mushroom pasta in a white sauce. The ingredients that I will be using today is my beautiful and favorite mushroom, which is porcini mushroom. Those are dry. You can order them on Amazon if you don't find them in your local store. This is how they look. Then I have homemade almond milk. Maybe in a future, in another video, I have the chance to introduce you how I make my own milk. And this is eight, about eight ounce or 250 milliliter. You will also need one onion and four cloves of garlic. Garlic is by the way, a natural antibiotic is so good for your health. My vegetable bouillon. And on pasta, you can use whatever is available for you. I prefer Barilla, but some other people prefer other brands. So use whatever pasta you prefer for this recipe. Take a normal pad, whatever pad you used, add some water. And after it's boiling and it's hot, you can introduce the mushroom inside the water. Like this. If you have a big family or you cook in this recipe, oops, <laughs> pardon, you cook in this recipe for um, a large amount of people, you can use more than uh, this amount of mushrooms. But if this recipe is just for two people, about two little cases of mushroom, which is one ounce, 28, uh, 28 gram, pardon, uh, is enough for two people. While the mushrooms are boiling, we're gonna let it let them boil until they are soft. We're not looking to super cook them, we're just looking to soften them a bit. And I like to boil them for about, you know, eight minutes. Yeah. And this time we're gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil into the pan. Now that the olive oil, one tablespoon of olive oil is inside the pan, we're gonna let it heat so we can start making the sauce for the porcini mushrooms, yeah? And now we will be removing the porcini mushroom from the pot. Next, you will need a strainer and a little bowl and we will add the porcini mushroom into the drainer. We will be putting the porcini mushrooms on the side with the same water that you cook the mushrooms. Use that water, please, to cook the pasta because the porcini mushroom has a very interesting flavor that you can add the water in here and boil the pasta in it and it will give the pasta this beautiful porcini taste. As you can see, we are using the same water that we boiled the porcini mushroom in. When it's hot enough, we will add the pasta. For the moment, the oil is hot enough. We will add the one onion that we chop like this. You can cut it as much, as thin as you like. It's, it's you know, up to you. Some people like it in chunks chunks some, some people prefer it more thin we also add in the garlic remember we use four loaves of garlic I use my favorite smasher which is one that I use that I bought in IKEA I bought this in IKEA in Germany and I've been traveling with this one all over the world We will cook it until it's um, a little brownish, yeah? 
after it's a little black brownish like that, we will add the porcini mushroom. Next, we will be adding the bouillon. Remember, this is the vegetable bouillon. One globe, yeah. Lovely. Mmm, smells so good. <laughs> nice. Now, we will change the temperature to be a little lower, okay? I like to use it in number four. If you don't have numbers, just make it medium, yeah? We are ready to introduce the pasta, yeah? We will let the, cook, the pasta cook al dente. After the pasta is already cooked, we will add the pasta inside the lovely sauce. Now we will go back to making and finishing the sauce. So now we are adding our homemade almond milk. Yes, lovely. And the trick about this sauce is you have to cook it until it creates a really pasty sauce. One day soon, I will be making a video on how you can make your own vegan milk. Because sometimes it's hard for me to find milk, vegan milk in a consistency or in the flavor or the texture that I want, especially when I am making this kind of sauces. Now, let it cook until it makes a pasty, tasty sauce. It should not be runny, it should be a little heavy sauce, yeah? This sauce is already very flavored because of the garlic, the onion, the porcini mushroom itself, and the almond milk, you know. But it is preferable if you enjoy adding some black pepper. You're welcome to do so. I always add some black pepper when the sauce is cooking. It's uh, up to you if you want to add some black pepper. Definitely try it. Our sauce is ready. This is the consistency that we're looking for. Yeah, like this, tasty. And the pasta is also ready. You see how beautiful they are brown. Lovely. We will add now the pasta into the sauce, like this. Lovely, you see how brown the pasta had adapted the color of the mushroom nice i am a complete spicy eater you can not naturally add um you know dry chili in the end if you prefer spicy you can make it spicy this is something that you can share with the whole family even the non-vegan people will love this recipe it is lovely it is amazing you see it's easy to make it's gourmet perfect so this is our vegan porcini mushroom as you can see i love chili <laughs> so add some spicy on top but if you don't like spicy food you don't have to and i'm ready to try it i am so excited i'm really excited that i'm sharing this recipe with you it's one of my favorite vegan recipe i hope you enjoy watching me cook it smells lovely um you can see also that the pasta is really brown it has like this gourmet um pasta flavor and look so let's try now i want to show you <laughs> It looks so good. Look at this. Look, the porcini mushroom. Mm. Mm. Great. Amazing. Perfect. Thank you for watching. <laughs> it was really fun for me to share with you one of my favorite vegan recipes. I hope you try them out at home and if you do end up making them please come back to my channel leave me a comment 
and let me know how you like it your experience share with me your opinion i will highly appreciate it stay healthy stay hydrated and make sure you eat food that makes you happy be positive be kind to yourself if you want to continue staying tuned with me you can follow me on my social media and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell there so you can get every single of my notification on new videos thank you for being in here i value your time i see you soon till the next time